So one of the questions, Dr. Schulz, that we get asked is what is nerve sparing radiation? In fact, we actually see this being Googled quite often. Uh, I was kind of curious because I didn't know that it would be a subject of interest. It, it's certainly an, a subject of interest to me. We're uh, participating with UCLA in some informal research in uh, radiating just a section of the prostate to try and help men uh, be less at risk for developing impotence after the treatment. It's a feasible proposition now that the scans and the biopsies are so much more accurate and the radiation targeting is so much ac more accurate than it used to be. And, uh, and of course, men are very interested in preserving sexual function. So men that have cancers that are on one side of the prostate can discuss the possibility of just radiating that section of the prostate and reducing their risk for developing impotence. There aren't really much of any formal trials. There are uh, clinical trials looking at other methods like HIFU and cryo, which look pretty good. It's highly dependent on the skill of the doctors doing it. But uh, it's going to be an important thing in the future, it's, uh, it, but it's not formalized and there aren't really good studies yet to show how much advantage there is to doing focal treatment. Mm. But I think focal treatment probably will be the future of prostate cancer, right? Uh, I think it's the likely guess that uh, uh, they've eliminated uh, with modern radiation the risks of incontinence. They've eliminated the risks of rectal damage, which used to be quite frightening. Uh, but we're still looking at men with anywhere from a 25 to 50 percent risk of erectile dysfunction after standard radiation. So there's plenty of room for improvement there, and focal radiation may be the pathway to reducing that risk. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. This helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this video, and it'll go help other prostate cancer patients on the YouTube platform. If you have a comment or a question, you can go ahead and leave that in our comment section below, and our team will pick it up. And if you need more information about prostate cancer or any of the topics that we covered today, you can visit our website at pcri.org and contact us. We love you. We hope you have a great week, and thank you for trusting us with your health.